the horror we are facing today is our horror. Because the world we are facing today is not because of the perpetrators. It's about the billions of people who are doing nothing. And it's not pleading guilty. No, 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 no. It's about being unaware. Having said that, I developed myself in a criminal way, covered by shiny import, export, and so on. So I got, on a young age, I'm talking about roughly around 20, I had already these shiny things like cars you can only afford when you are rich. Start playing with, well, I, I played the Hollywood show, like the succeeded businessman when I was 20. And then most of them say, well, he has rich parents, of course, because otherwise, who, how can you afford this? But out of all this business, I start also being involved in um, currency trading, black money. So I start to be making a little bit of business with money. And then one of the guys in Brussels who was one of my partners in dealing with currencies, said, uh, hey, you are run around the clock daily with all your business and activities. Why don't you go in the money trading? We have license available and we can make a deal. And we did this through offshores, like no, nothing on your name. And uh, it could be a nice career for you. <coughs> there was one condition, a warning, a hat. You have to put your conscience in the freezer in minus 100 degrees. And I say, no problem. <laughs> hey, I'm nearly dead, so <laughs> no problem. So I became step by step a servant of the big money, step by step. It was still taking some years to come in the higher regions. And I get more and more excitements, like from Russia, Secret Service. They printed better dollars, American dollars, than the American dollars who were circulating from the Federal Reserve. Better quality. And they were printed, made, made, in, made in the USSR. And we get the assignment, we get our commissions, and we get the assignment to dump this in the market through bigger drugs, drug dealers, uh, people who are dealing with weapons, all kind of criminal activity. Because that was a smoothy way to get um, all these uh, huge amounts of dollars in the market through the illegal channels floating around. And it was afterwards, it was just a part of the game to uh, have an economic war from Russia, USSR in that time, with America. And in the opposite way, they did the same. But I didn't know that in that time. So I, as a younger yo youngster, like 24, 25, I was already messing around with economic wars worldwide. So after all these assignments, they start to spot you, like, hey, Here's a bright guy, he's always knowing his way, like hustling here, hustling there, playing with the rules. And then they start to invite you more and more for higher assignments. And then you start to work for banks, independent. You're doing the dirty work for central banks, for multinationals, for governments, for what they call now terrorist uh, organizations and all secret services. Hey, secret services? Yes. And then on top, like the peach or the fruit of the cake, churches. Wow, you get the whole palette where the money floats, the big money. And you get the invitation to join in these circles to move all the money they want to move worldwide to start wars 
to start all the misery in this planet. Because there is nearly no misery on this planet in a natural way. It's most of them is created. Because they keep the system running because it's a dualistic system. They make the money only because when it's dualistic. And if we have all the sheep, this energy containers they use only to suck. If they are asleep, fine, you can do whatever you want. This is also the mentality of the elite. Well, they are not elite. <laughs> they are not elite. The people I worked for in the end of the days, you're talking roughly about eight, eight and a half thousand people on this world who run the show. In the end, because I can give you all the details about everything I did in this world. Like, indirectly I was killing people. Like, you are in a stealth bomber, dropping bombs. I did this financial-wise as missions. Like, destroying temporary the economy of Italy. And then later on, when you are in the financial market, you would listen to the people who were involved, and they have a big laugh because some people were killing themselves because their companies were destroyed and they left behind women with children and we have only a laugh about it. We joined it. That's the world I come out. My turning point was that I was so good in everything I did with my team that I was, in their opinion, ready for the last stage to be invited and um, sacrifice of children. That hits me. That was really going through my bunker. I couldn't handle it. It was hitting me like hell. I didn't go there and I start to malfunction. And my whole career falls apart. And the last point I want to give you is if we want to have liberation, don't look at outside anymore. The change will be from inside. We, the people on this planet, have to choose different saying we don't want this anymore. It's enough. We can decide for ourselves to stand up, to be as one again, unity and diversity, and we can cooperate worldwide with each other. And tools for this are there, because one of the main tools you need to transform is the financial monetary banking system I was coming out. The tools are available, like healthcare, energy, everything is already available on this planet. The only thing we have to do is connect with each other, unite with each other worldwide, and say no more. Stand up, be the change yourself. And we will be liberating ourselves and our planet. And I can promise you, really promise you, because I have still a lot of contacts worldwide, the most still in the prison system, the dark forces around them, they are screaming because their child inside of this atomic bunker wants to go out in a safe world. And we can create this safe world for these heavily damaged children. So thank you. <laughs>